Hi again from the Mind and Life Research Institute in Germany. There was an exciting talk today about epigenetics. Epigenetics is the field of study regarding how environmental factors influence genetic expression. And the person presenting on epigenetics was a psychiatrist, so his focus was how environmental factors give rise to changes within genes that are then associated with either greater or less susceptibility to mental health issues. And also, in mental health issues, the change in gene expression. And he did this really, I think, phenomenal trial on a military population looking at PTSD and genetic changes. At the beginning of the trial, he looked at all the subjects to see if they were basically the same psychologically, physiologically, and genetically. And by and large, they were. And then he divided them into two groups. One group remained at base camp, and the other group were individuals who were due to be deployed to Afghanistan for a six-month period. And then he looked at, upon return, who presented, if anyone, with PTSD. And as, obviously, being within that environment is so highly stressful, there was a large proportion of individuals presenting with PTSD. And then he looked at the change in genetic expression that these individuals had against those who did not present with PTSD. And he found something really remarkable. Those who presented with PTSD had a reduction of something called methylation, which is just the reduction of a methyl group on the DNA. And a high level of methylation is associated with psychological and physical well-being by and large. And what he expected was that the individuals who did not present with PTSD would have the same level of my methylation, sorry, not myelination, that's something else, methylation that they did at baseline, but rather they had a much higher level. This indicates that those individuals who did not present with PTSD actually somehow during that very stressful situation or group of situations became more resilient. And the question then is, how did they do that? What behaviors did they engage in that the other group did not in order to use that situation to allow for genetic change? Since the genes were basically the same at the beginning, it does not have to do with their previous psychological profiles or child, how they were reared as children. And then the bigger question is, if we are to try and translate these findings into a non-military population, into a civilian population, are the behaviors that we can orchestrate or that we can suggest to people in highly stressful situations, be they children or adults, in order that the suffering that they're actually going through supports greater resiliency and positive genetic change as opposed to negative. Now, of course, I would say that practicing yoga and meditation would promote this capacity, but that remains to be seen. Um, certainly, the people that I know that have practiced yoga and meditation seem to have a greater level of resiliency. Anyway, that's the insight from today. I hope it's useful for you. And um, if you are interested more in yoga therapy for PTSD, come to our training in Edinburgh in October or the one in London in late November. Bye.